Alright everyone, here's my third attempt at doing a bookshelf tour. So it's been a bit since the last time I was doing one of these, and I really would like to show you what's left of my uh, YA contemporary slash YA fiction. So let's get started. We have Speak by Lori Hulse Anderson. The Future of Us by Jay Asher and Carolyn Meckler, which I read in a day and a half. That's actually a record for me. <laughs> Please Stop Laughing at Me by... Oops, wrong one. Jody Blanco, and it's about bullying at school. I haven't read it yet, so and I haven't read Speak either. Judy Bloom's Forever, and the way I kind of referenced this to somebody at work was that if you like Fifty Shades of Grey, this is a more partially toned down version set with teenagers in the 70s. And the author actually, this is a reprint of this book, she actually has a disclaimer in there about birth control. Crash Into Me by Albert Boris, which is about Kids in Depression and Suicide. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. Now, I read, I saw the movie before I read the book, and I really liked it. I thought it was good. And that is by John Boyne. Dark Unwinding by Sharon Cameron. Now, this is a steampunk novel. I do have some of those. And I kind of got into that when I started reading... Dearly Departed by Leah Havel, which is about steampunk and zombies. The Perks of Being a Wallflower, I read that right before I saw the movie, and that is by Stephen Chabosky. If I'm butchering the names, I apologize in advance. Alright, The Breakable Vow by Catherine Ann Clark. I read that back in 03. That has to do with... A girl who gets pregnant by her boyfriend, and they move to Texas with his football scholarship, and he turns out to be a real jerk, abusive, but eventually uh, she gets set free. So, he has a good ending. Alright, I have a few books here by Suzanne Colasanity. I'm sorry. I, I, the, the, terrible. Okay. Okay, we have So Much Closer, we have Take Me There, we have Waiting For You, When It Happens, and we have The Clearing Here, which is by Heather Davis. Good book. Deals with uh, a girl who moves in with her grandma, and there's this clearing, this field that she goes through, and she ends up entering into the 1800s where she might a boy named Henry, I believe. It's just, it's really cool. I really liked it. And it's a short read. We have a couple Sarah Dessen books. We have The Truth About Forever. And What Happened to Goodbye. Both by Sarah Dessen. I haven't read them yet. And I also haven't read the uh, Suzanne Colansanti books. Okay, we have by Heather Dixon, Entwined, looks like a fantasy book. We have Annexed, which in, I think it's 2011, November, I got really into the Holocaust books. I still have to read Anne Frank's diary, but this book is a fictional account of Peter Van Pels, who stayed with the Franks while they were in hiding in 1941-42, until they were captured by the Nazis. We have the Perfect Chemistry series. We have the first one, Perfect Chemistry. We have Rules of Attraction, and we have Chain Reaction, which I got from Half.com, because none of the other places had the original cover art. They wanted to match. wanted them to match. Those are by Simone L. Kelly. Well, I'm, just, if I, I'm gonna just keep butchering the names, because I can't help it. Leaving Paradise and Return to Paradise, which are, I guess, another little two-book series she's got. So, moving down. We have If I Stay by Gail Foreman and Where She Went, also by Gail Foreman, which is a sequel. 
This is a short read, a little over 200 pages. I liked it. It did drag a little, but I got through it. So it was, uh, it was a really nice book. Also by Gail Foreman is Just One Day, which I haven't read, but I do have the sequel pre-ordered. We have Annie on My Mind by Nancy Garden. This is a book about gay youth, which I do have some of those. So just so you know, I like reading stuff like that. We have Let It Snow by John Green, which after I read The Fault in Our Stars right here, I'm like, okay, there's another John Green book. I loved the Fault in Our Stars. Even I bought the t-shirt. So, And Augustus Waters and Hazel Grace are such beautiful, moving, wonderful characters. I really felt close to them. And I teared up. This is the first book I think I ever cried in. I, I don't want to give anything away, but let's just say I teared up. Alright, now I'm going to push them back in there. Okay, Lord of the Flies is another one that is by William Golding, and I actually got this as a bargain book at Barnes & Noble. I have been saying for a while how I wanted to read the book, because I saw the 92 version movie. My husband, Jeremy, he actually saw the older black and white version, which he said he prefers, so one day I hope to get to the original version. But I, I hope they tell in the end about what happened after the ending. Maybe they'll give an epilogue, that'd be kind of cool. Warped by Marissa Gubord. Okay. I haven't read that one either. <laughs> a lot of these and some I have not read yet. Okay, so we have The Wind Blows Backwards, and I want to give a shout out to this book. It's by Mary Downing Hahn. My f one of my all time favorite books of all time. I read this first time back when I was 17. I'm almost 31 now, and I've read it like almost every year, every other year. It's just an awesome book. Lauren and Spencer are such awesome, awesome characters. And I really identified with Lauren as a... She's mousy, quiet. She works in the library. I want to work in a bookstore one day. That'd be kind of cool. I love books, as you can see. I love books a lot. I'm going to put it back in here. <laughs> Alright, we have Darker Still by Leanna Renee Hyber. Which I haven't read. Sounds historical. And I'm going to try to get this book back in here again. But a couple books by David Leviathan. Boy Meets Boy. Another gay youth novel. Haven't read it. Also by David Leviathan is Every Day. A very interesting book from what I've heard. I'm going to read it. This book here, Treachery of Beautiful Things, which I haven't read, is by... Ruth Francis Long, and because I read the Iron Fae series, this is just sounds like a really cool twist with the uh, Midsummer Night's Dream cast, like Puck and uh, some of those other characters I can't really think of right now. But yeah, we have Shards and Ashes, which are a bunch of short stories by many authors Kelly Armstrong, Melissa Marr. I don't think I've read their books, but I've read a um, by Cassandra Clare and Beth Revis. I think they, Cami Garcia, who wrote the Beautiful Creature series, I think she's in there too. So, I'm going to get to that one day. Alright. Meant to be. I'm on a London kick right now. I'm really into London. My husband actually spent a couple years there growing up as a child, so that's kind of fascinated me. Also, when I read Anna and the French Kiss, um... St. Clair slash Etienne, Etienne, however you say his name, he was from, he grew up out that, that way, so I'm like, oh, I like this book even more, so, but Meant to Be is cool, um, this girl Julia, she goes on a school trip to London, and she gets paired up with her nemesis, this guy who she thinks is a complete jerk, and, yeah, and my timer's going off, so I shut that off. Because that's annoying. Anyway, it's a good book. Good, good book. Maybe one day I'll do a review on it. <laughs> Alright, we have The Night Circus. Which I haven't read yet. I read a little, but then I stopped and got into other stuff. This is about... The circus and 
magicians and stuff like that. And the author's name is Aaron Morgenstern. And I thought it was kind of funny, the last name, Morgenstern. Isn't that uh, Clary's last name? Or uh, Valentine's last name. So I thought that was kind of coincidental. We have Half Brother by Kenneth Opal. And we have The Pact by Jody Picoult. I'm sorry, I'm not talking about them as much as I was, but I'm going to stop after this shelf. Because I think I'm running over my time. We have Far From Zando. And Zanadu. Something like that. Julie Ann Peters. Haven't read that one. That's a gay youth novel, and so is Keeping You a Secret, which I've read, and I really enjoyed. That's cool. Okay, a classic. Just like Lord of the Flies, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read that this summer. That's my goal to read that this summer. That's going to be a mass summer read. One of those hideous books where the mother dies by Sonia Sones. And I did read her other book. I haven't read this one, but the other one I read was uh, Things My Mother Doesn't Know About Me or something like that. But that was cool. It was cool. Okay, I'm going to stop here, and then I will continue on in another another one. Probably a shorter one, because I only have a shelf left to go. So, Alright, I will see you momentarily. Have a good day.